Hello everyone and welcome back to the WSO2 API Manager series. I hope you guys are doing well. So this video will help you to build the Docker image of open source version of WSO2 API Manager version 4. So let's begin. So here is the quick agenda for today's session. We'll see about the prerequisites for building the Docker image. Next we'll build the Docker image. Next we'll push the Docker image to the Docker Hub and all these activities we'll be covering through a demo. So there are certain prerequisites for building the Docker image. So we must have a binary distribution of WS2 API Manager pack typically in a zip format. So we have already built the binary distribution in our previous tutorial. So if you haven't gone through that tutorial I would request you to please check it out our video 14 for the same. Next we must have a Docker client. Next we must have a valid Docker Hub account. And we should have sudo writes in case required for Unix based systems like Mac or Linux. Next to build the Docker image there should be a proper directory structure to be followed. So we must have a directory structure. Uh, in my case I have taken a name as a docker api mv4. You can take any name of your choice. This directory must contain certain files. Docker file, docker entrypointsh and the binary distribution zip package of your API manager. Next, below are certain commands to build the Docker image. So step one is to navigate to the directory called Docker API v4 as mentioned in the step one. Next, we have to run the below command docker build dot minus t ws2 api colon 410. So here docker indicates the docker command we are trying to uh, run build means we are building the image dot indicates the current directory minus t indicates the tag number we are giving to the current image ws2 apm indicates a logical name to my image and the 4.1.0 is the version number we are giving to this next we can also have to apply uh, like a sudo command so we just need to prefix a sudo in case required for the unix based systems or if you are using the portman we just need to use sudo portman build dot minus t ws2 apm colon 410 so once you apply this command the image will be built and will be saved to your local repository so to verify the image we need to uh, run the command docker images so once we run the command we will see the screen something like this where the repository section indicates your local repository or the remote repository information and the tag number, the image ID and the creation date followed by the size. Next step is to push the docker image to the docker hub. So why we are doing this because in our actual projects we would be pulling the image from a remote repository. In this case we are expecting that we are pushing the image to a public repository but in some sort of implementations you would require to push it to your local repository so you can push it to local repository as well however the steps remain similar to this to push the image we must log into the docker hub so we need to provide a valid username and the password using the command line and once we see the message login succeeded we are good to proceed next step is to tag the image to the remote repository so how should we do we have to apply a docker tag the source image colon the tag number and the target image and the tag number so the sample example is this docker tag ws2 apim colon 410 k10 gaurav slash ws2 apim colon 410 so k10 gaurav is my remote repository of my docker hub account and this is the name and the tag number which i am be giving that is going to be pushed over there next we have to push the image using the new tag name so we will use the command docker push k10 gaurav slash ws2 apm colon 410 and finally if the image has been pushed successfully we must verify the same by logging into our docker hub account so let's see all these steps through a demo starting the demo so as a prerequisite uh, i already have my docker client installed so let's verify docker version so we have a docker client installed and i do already have my docker hub account so if i type a command like docker login 
so it will take the credentials from my local storage and it will show me that login succeeded okay and uh, let's verify the files required to build the docker image so we have docker file and drip point sh and the zip package so this is the pack we already obtained from the uh, the open source uh, version of the source code available uh, in the github repository by wc2 next uh, let's see what this file contains then we'll proceed further so this docker file contain uh, the instruction to build the docker image so for example it takes uh, from ubuntu 20.04 it is creating a linux based docker image using the ubuntu version 20.04 it is setting some languages language related stuff it is uh, installing the jdk dependencies setting the java version and installing the open jdk 11 then it is setting the java home it's verifying the jdk installation in the image itself then it is setting the uh, ws2 related artifacts on the uh, the linux for the linux container so kindly note that uh, the version number is specified here so it should match uh, as we are applying though we are we will be using some uh, the already zip package available with us next uh, these are basically the uh, product pack related settings and the user and group related settings next it is adding some group and id this is the variables we are setting this we are setting on the uh, linux container and then then we are adding some the ownership to this file docker entry point such which is the initialization strip for the docker image then it is adding some required packages we are adding some of the packages for this uh, particular docker image then we are copying this zip file so this is the zip file available on this machine which is on our local we can also parameterize this or we can make it uh, through the variables and the dynamic as well for this tutorial i have made it as simple and then it is copying it to w2server.zip then it is basically uh, these are the default stuff which is basically picking up the uh, zip file from a remote uh, uh, repository so for us these two steps are not applicable because we are already copying from our local distribution to this w2server.zip so then we are unzipping and following the further steps and after the unzipping we are just uh, removing this uh, the zip file in from the container then we are setting the user and the work directory environment directory exposing the ports we are adding some of the permissions to entry point sh and finally starting the server using the initialization script so we have this initialization script called docker entry point sh let's see what it contains so this is a predefined script provided by wso2 uh, so you can uh, visit their github repo i will also upload these files on my github account and will share the link in the uh, in the description so it is setting some of the volume at the volume related stuff then setting up the home directories okay then other artifacts related uh, directory related artifacts optimizing the in case of profile based uh, uh, the startup we can set up a particular profile name you know that we have uh, the different different profiles for uh, ws2 server ws2 api manager so we can also mention the particular profile as of now we are not making any changes starting with the default profile okay any other configuration the volume and then it is starting the ws2 server okay so this is called the initialization script for ws2 api manager so we have understood uh, we have some basic idea about these files what does it contains so now let's clear the screen and uh, let's build the image let's verify what all images we have docker images we have two images now let's build the image docker tilt.inst plus to apim 4.1.0 it will start building the image locally so successfully we have built the image let's verify the local repository the docker images command so now we have this image 
okay it's showing that it created four weeks ago that doesn't mean created four weeks ago it uh, basically created just now but uh, it was in my cache so let's uh, re-verify using a different name api m before let's say i build this image docker images so again it is showing that it's created four weeks ago that means all the images are basically layered based uh, concept uh, that docker uses okay so if the layer already exists in my system it will show that it created some of uh, that particular duration so don't worry on that part we'll take a reference of this image only so now we have this image available next we have to push this image to the remote docker hub repository let's uh, first log into our remote uh, docker hub okay, so i've already logged into my docker hub account as you can see so we have uh, follow images in my account the python api manager am credit score and this one okay now we will be using this image so we'll be using the docker tag ws2 api m ws2 api m okay just tag it cool let's verify the tag in my local repo so we have this tag available now okay you can see the image id is same because it has been created this is just a tag number to this image okay now let's push this image to report docker hub repository docker push ws2 apim okay now let's push this image if the credentials are valid then it will push the image to the remote repository let's wait till uh, the image is getting pushed okay so it successfully pushed this image and the hash is generated this is showing this is mounted from this w2 api image that means that layer already exists in this particular image so that's the that's how the docker images concept works if that layer particularly exists in my remote repository or the local repository wherever i have been building the image then it will pick the particular layer from there okay so now let's refresh this page so just a few seconds ago i have built this image okay now i will uh, also docker images sorry so i have this has been verified now let's remove all these images docker rmi 440 okay I will do the docker images okay I'll remove this image as well okay so let's verify the docker images only one image let's pull the image that we have just pushed docker pull get and curve slash travels to apim okay now since from local we have removed but uh, there have been layer particular layer exists so it will map that layer okay so now let's see docker images so now this has just pulled from the remote repo to the local repo so here it was not there here it is there so that's the end of the session that we have successfully created and push the image to the remote docker hub repository let's go back to the presentation so finally uh, we have done all these steps so thank you very much for staying tuned for this uh, ws2 api manager channel which is ws2 bytes so don't forget to my channel and hit the bell icon to get the latest notifications 
of my videos thank you